Hey, welcome back everybody. Before I got started on scene reforms here, I did uh, all the last bit of wiring here. And so this is just uh, checking to make sure I got all the connections right, polarity and everything, and, uh, and checking how the new track work works as well. Enjoy. Well, hey everybody, just looking at some of the new track. This is the icing track here. And uh, since, the, since our last video, I did go back and just um, spray a little bit of matte coat. Um, this is just some stuff I make myself using uh, Future uh, Floor Polish and um, Tamiya Flat Base mixed together in various um, ratios. Um, kind of follow, uh, if you guys follow JC's Rip Track, uh, he's, he shows how he, he does that. Uh, and I'm just following his method. So I, I've got, this is the mat. It's got more of the um, flat base in it. Um, and then there's, I have a satin one that I use. And then I also have some gloss, which is a, a mostly just, just the polish itself with some thinner in it. Uh, but anyway, uh, I recommend his channel uh, for a lot of different reasons, but that's, uh, that's a good one. Um, and then I should mention, um, as I am showing here, you can see I've been in here with the airbrush, showed that in the last video. Um, a lot of those techniques um, I, I'm borrowing um, shamelessly from Boomer Dioramas. So I know a lot of y'all are familiar with him as well. So I think those are two really good channels um, for techniques. They're both just making all of us better modelers. So um, there goes the airbrush. Sorry about that. I just turned it off. Um, but I did come in with the, the coat of mat. I've now cleaned it up. So I'm, I'm, I'm pretty happy with where the track is. And uh, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to move on uh, over to scenery. Um, so I'm going to start again, this area over here is going to have an overpass. I'm not hundred percent sure what I'm going to use and how I'm going to do that yet. So I'm actually going to start over here in this corner and I still have the cover up over the backdrop, um, just to protect myself here. Um, had a brief thought of like all this area in here. Should I bring an industry in here from deep water, but I'd have to cross the, uh, the lead and I, I'm just going to resist the temptation to stick industries in every open spot. I've got a good track plan. I think it's going to work well, so I'm not going to do it. So this area in here is going to be like a big grassy field. I might make a little knoll in there or something, and I'll probably put the back up a little bit. So I'll do that using foam, and uh, I'll show you how we do that uh, as we go. Um, I'm going to get the foam forms in here first, um, then start messing around. I'm probably going to use some teddy bear fur again, um, but I've also got a bunch of uh, static grass and uh, I've upgraded my applicator uh, since I last did any static grass. So I'll show that too. It's uh, I've got the static king now um, with the adapter to plug it into the wall for the you know full on 12 volts. And uh, I'm, I'm excited to try that. So I'll probably mix and match uh, those two things through here. Um, so let's uh, let's get to it. All right, starting with some landforms over here in the corner. I've been working on those couple of pieces of uh, that's actually half inch foam. I usually uh, up to this point I've been using one inch thick. This is half inch thick. Um, I may build up that back a little bit more, or I might not. Um, kind of play that by ear. Uh, but remember, this whole area, uh, especially on on the front here. I want to be uh, an open sort of grassy knoll. Um, <clears throat> so I've, I've been kind of carving away at this and then I'm, it's kind of a lot of work carving this stuff and sanding it. So I think what I'm gonna do, and I think I'm okay over here, but as I start going that way, I think I'm just gonna build it up with sculpta mold and just do like wedding cake style and have it step up. And I'll just use sculpta mold to like nice, make it nice and smooth. And I don't wanna make this very high because I don't wanna, hide the tracks that I've just spent all that time super elevating and getting painted and all that stuff. So what I do want to do, um, I, I do want to build a little bit of topography here, just a little grassy knoll, grassy, you know, sort of teddy bear, static grass type field, um, and then kind of disappear uh, over here. Uh, this will just be woods on the back and sort of scruffy grass, maybe on the front. 
then over here I've drawn in where that road and the overpass is gonna go. And I built in room, I initially thought, hey, right here, but I need the embankment to come down and I don't want that turnout to be thrown underneath it. And I didn't want the embankment to get too close to the servicing area over there. So I've pulled it back this way a bit. So now the road will be right here. And it's three inches wide, which is roughly a two lane road in HO, and then room for uh, the embankments to go down with like a 45 degree angle, which is probably a little bit steep, but I don't want to take up the whole corner over here with embankment um, because that track is actually up on cork there. I need to go a good three and a half inches above this surface for clearance. So that's the top of the road. So, you know, I'm gonna have an overpass that goes across, you know, it starts sort of right here, uh, goes across to there. I don't know if I'm gonna scratch build that or uh, I know Rick's makes a pretty easy to use uh, model up, may, may well go that route, we'll see. Uh, but that's gonna be an overpass area to kind of break up the scenes here. Uh, between here and sort of getting into the engine servicing and there's gonna be a lot of brick buildings and structures and stuff along the back there I'm looking forward to building but That's where we are. So I'm gonna keep plugging away as I try not to make y'all seasick and pan back over here um, I think what I'm gonna do next is maybe get a little piece in the center here Maybe one more piece of half-inch foam sort of in the center here and then just use sculpt the mold to build that up The back one I'm pretty happy with um, Like I say, I don't I was thinking about making that higher. It's only half an inch up, um, but I think that's good enough. I'll just have a lot of trees back there and, uh, and that'll be nice. So uh, more to come as I plug away on uh, scenery building. All right, just a little in progress here. Got my track protected and uh, throwing some sculpta mold on here to smooth this, uh, this guy out. Um, I've got some that I bought, actual sculpta mold brand. And uh, once I'm out of that, I'm gonna try uh, adapting something I saw on uh, Crooked River and Eastern uh, channel. Um, <clears throat> he used cellulose uh, and plaster of Paris. Let me just try it with just, uh, you know, throwing the contents of my paper shredder in the blender and grinding it up a little finer and throw some plaster of Paris on that and see how that works. So uh, more to come there, uh, but I do have a <clears throat> decent bit of sculpt mold left, uh, the name brand stuff that I'll, I'll just use till it's gone. So just a little progress update. Uh, I'd like to take this hill out a little closer to the track, so I'm, a couple places I'm just stuffing a couple of paper towels underneath it, and it'll harden up over top of that. <clears throat> and uh, I, I want this to be a knoll, and you know, like a like a like a hill, but not like a really steep hill, a really high hill. Um, I, this is me standing here looking; you can clearly see right over the top of it. And there's not going to be trees here; it's going to be grass. Um, but I do want to just make it a rolling hill. So uh, a little in progress, more to come. All right, so got this hill on the front. I say hill, it's really just a knoll. It's no more than an inch tall above the layout. And tried to get it nicely smoothed down. Hill, not mountain or anything like that. Um, and that'll kind of, I think, frame the, the scene of the, the train coming around the bend there on the super elevation uh, pretty good. Um, so. That's all the commercial stuff I have. So now I need to move on and think about making my own sculpta mold. Um, and I'll use that to fill in some gaps like back there where the two pieces of foam came together is kind of wonky a little bit and just smooth a few things out back there. But I think that's probably all the time I have this week. So I'll start next week's episode with, uh, you know, my experimentation with uh, making my own sculpta mold. So we'll see how that goes. But uh, yeah, I'll leave it here. Um, I hope, uh, hope you all have a good uh, rest of your week. Uh, stay safe out there, and uh, we'll talk to you next week.